Hey guys, Jeff here, Dice Setters. So many of you, after last week's video, have reached out and sat there and said, okay, I have done my homework. I have a, a place that I start with here and a place I end up down here. The only thing is I don't like what ends up down there. It's not the way you're doing it. I always end up with a seven or something like that. So this week's video is taking that just a little bit further. We've got our beginning, we have our end, but now we've got to see results. So in this video, I'm going to just sit there and just show you um, just different die sets that I use. Now, not all die sets work for me. I have tried my hardest to try, you know, different die sets two or three days and they just don't work. That's when you just sit there and just, oh, well, just use the ones that you know that do work. So start off with one. Shoot it uh, 50 times, 100 times. Mark down what you're hitting. And eventually you're going to see a pattern. It's going to be either a good pattern or it's going to be a bad pattern. And then go on to the next one. And if it's uncomfortable or doesn't feel right, then skip it. Sit there and say, you know, I just, you will find one, however, though you're like, man, I really like this dice set and just go with it. And then after a month or two months, you're like, okay, I'm ready for a different one. And sit there and do it that way. But you're going to have to sit there and roll 50 to 100 times to sit there and say yay or nay. Because just saying I want this one and going to casino and putting your money down is not going to end very nicely. So in this video, I'm going to sit there and show you the basic ones that I know, which are going to be, uh, there's a 1-2-2-1, two, two, one, there's a 2-V, there's a 3-V, there's never been a 4-V as far as I know, or a 5-V. There is a 6-cross, and uh, well, some of my favorites are 3-6-5-6, six, six. and then I'm going to do an all 7s. And uh, hopefully, just never roll a 7, I can show you, you know, show you all the ones that I know, and maybe you'll be, you know, be able to take that information and try it. And try one for 50 tries, it's going to be really quick whether or not you're going to like it or not. And again, as long as, you're, as, you, as long as you have this down and that part down there down, you're going to see real quickly which ones are going to work for you. So, um, I will be in Vegas uh, this weekend. And happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. It's going to be uh, Father's Day weekend. We will be at the uh, we'll be we'll, we'll be at the Palms. Um, Gold Book Slots and I will be recording, and we have uh, two days we we can record uh, Friday and Saturday. So uh, if you're going to be there, just sit there and uh, shoot me a, a an email, and I'd love to sit there and hang out with you. But being that we are recording at the Palms, we have to tell them what time we're going to be recording. So there's going to be a time on Friday evening I won't be able to do anything, and there'll be a time on saturday morning i won't be able to do anything but other than that it's open and again happy father's day to all you fathers so without further ado here goes today's all right guys so i'm going to sit there and stay with this line here on the five and yes i know i should be probably a foot maybe a foot and a half back to actually be like the table and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see my little white dot right there that's my landing zone so uh, to show you the ones that I know, the die sets I know, and I'll show it toward you um, so you can see it. Uh, one, two, two, one, just like that. You have the uh, 2V, and that can be either way. You can sit there and make 2V however you want to make 2V. 2V or not 2V, that is the question. Um, 3V, and you can have it either way. Doesn't really matter. Some people might sit there and prefer it one way or the other. There's really nothing ever been on 4 or 5. <coughs> and one of my favorite ones is the, uh, the cross sixes. Now, with all of these, except for the very first one, I would always turn it down one. That keeps you from double pitching. And then the last one I'm going to show you is, uh, the all seven, and this one is going to be uh, without uh, without doing the, the back throw. I'm going to just sit there and just throw them all the same way. <laughs> and the way I am throwing it, I'll make sure you can see me. 
two fingers down the center, middle finger, and you just want to, it's basically like uh, dipping a tea bag. I know that sounds pretty bad, but if you're dipping a tea bag and you just want to toss it in the trash, that's going to sit there and keep them so they're not spinning, and you want to just to sit there and land back on the table flat. That's all you want to do. So we're going to start with the first one. Uh, two, one, two, uh, one, two, two, one. And hopefully we'll have some good results. And we start off with seven. <laughs> but that's okay. We just made money if we're on the uh, fast line. And like I always say, always practice first before you're going to put money on the table. Give me another seven. And yes, I did practice. When I practiced, this was not the outcome, but hooks off and all that's all that matters right now. Gonna be a five. For those of you that use the uh, the bonus, the tall, small, all, and if you're gonna have money on it, always hop your sevens. Always hop big red, and it only takes three dollars to uh, to get that started. Always, always, always. Three dollars will get you fifteen bucks, and then if you do hit a seven, pressure. So I'm going to start off with the uh, did the one two two one. Now I'm going to do the two V. Of course, the two V. I'm going to turn it down. I'm get nine. I'm going to go ahead and mark it, even though you don't. You won't be able to see them marked, but they uh, they are marked. So that was a two. We'll go to the three V, and we'll use like an inside like that. And there goes a seven. That was a horrible beginning. We'll try it one more time. Um, we did the three. We'll go to the uh, six. This is like one of my favorite ones. It's going to be at midnight. I have repeated midnight three times in a row. Marking the eight, even though you can't see it. Now let's go ahead and try those one more time. One, two, two, one. You don't turn that one down. It's going to be a six. You say, well, why do you have to turn it down for? Because it's too loud. That's a good uh, old man's answer right there. The dad joke. <laughs> Two's cross, turn it down one. A good ten, a hard ten.
We're going to do our threes. Turn it down one. Heart six. I've already showed you the cross sixes. I'll do another favorite one I have. It all depends upon how bouncy the table is. Three, six, five, six. Here, one, seven. That one can give you in trouble if it's not a bouncy table. And now I'm going to show you a, a little trick I learned, uh, I think I learned it from the bone thrower. <clears throat> we're going to do an all sevens, and we're going to start off with the one I always remember, one, two, six, five. If I can remember one, two, I can get this one. All sevens, so no matter how you turn it, it's always going to be a seven. Always going to be a seven. But I always start off with one, two, six, five, because that I can remember. Gonna be a two. So the way um, I'm gonna do this is the way it's handed to you is the way you're gonna roll it. So start with the only the one on the left. You can do it however you want to, but that way you're always having uh, something different. But we ended up with the same same dice set as we did, just because it landed perfectly. It's gonna be a nine. So the stick man sometimes they they uh, move them or whatever, but however way that they give it to you, that's gonna be your new dice set. But it's gonna be all sevens. So I have three five. I'm going to make this uh, five two. It's going to be a nine. We made our point. So it's headed to us uh, five six. We're going to sit there and make it a um, one two. It's going to be an eight. Well, it was an eight. So the stick man gives it to us this way. Four five. So we're gonna do a three two. As long as you can stick your landing, this is a pretty safe. It's pretty safe. Unless it does the dice just stick and don't move at all. It's gonna be a five. We have three six. We're going to sit there and make this one here a uh, four one. Give me a nine. Six four. We'll make that a one three. It's gonna be a four. Three one. 
four six. And there goes our seven. That one there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not too good. Um, I just must not be in my my game tonight. But that shows you dice sets. Um, and in the comments, if I did not use your dice set that you normally use, put it in the comments. I'm sure that uh, that people starting out or people that are looking for a new dice set. Uh, we sure like to uh, have a new one, and if it is the same same one I showed, sit there and put that in there. Sit there and say, "Hey, you know the this one, this one. I've rolled uh, sixty times on a table or whatever." That would uh, give a lot of information to people who are just trying this out for the first time. Definitely like, share, subscribe. Um, if you are into slots at all, please visit my uh, my wife's channel. It's Gold Book Slots. She uh, has a fun time. Um, playing her favorite thing, and that is uh, slots. She's trying to get to 500 subscribers, and right now she's a few shy from 300, I believe. I'm at 293. She's at 293, and uh, we are now releasing them uh, on Mondays and Fridays. They're Mondays short. Fridays. I think it's Monday, uh, whatever. Um, they're short, but uh, we're just trying to build up her channel, trying to get her monetized, and then from there, her channel is going to sit there and grow. Biggest thing with hers is uh, we're using real money. Thing with mine, we're not using real money. We're using fake money. So a lot different and uh, a lot harder for her to, uh, you know, put forth the effort because some days you just don't win on slots, and that's that's all there is to it. So if you haven't seen that one, please check her out. Thanks, guys, and uh, again, happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.